Hey guys, hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on the lymphomas and the basics of Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. If you haven't watched our video on the structure of lymph node, I would recommend you to watch that video because it will help you understanding all the lymphomas very clearly. So without wasting time, let's take on the lymphomas. See guys, the lymphoma word is made up of two words that is the lymphoid which means the lymphoid tissue and oma which refers to mass. So therefore the lymphoma is nothing but it is a mass of lymphoid tissue and obviously it is formed as a result of the neoplastic proliferation of the lymphoid tissue. You know that the lymphoid tissue it consists of B lymphocyte and the T lymphocyte. Now the lymphoma or the neoplastic proliferation of that lymphoid tissue it may arise within the lymph node in that case the lymphoma is called as the nodal lymphoma and also it can arise at a place other than the lymph node for example viscera, skin, abdominal wall etc. In that case it is called as extranodal lymphoma. Therefore the lymphomas they are of two types one are the nodal lymphomas and one are the extranodal lymphomas. So this was one way of classifying the lymphomas. There is another way of classifying the lymphomas which is predominantly based on the histology of the lymph node or the lymphoma and what are the constituent cell types. So it is based on the histology and the cell types. On that basis we divide the lymphomas into Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So let's take on what are the Hodgkin's lymphoma and what are the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now if we take on the Hodgkin's lymphoma, basically the Hodgkin's lymphoma is characterized by a specialized type of cells which are called as the RS cells or the reed sternberg cells. So these are called as the reed sternberg cells and it is the presence of these reed sternberg cells that characterize a lymphoma as Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now these reed sternberg cells they are actually large B cells so therefore they will have markers of B cells. So they are the large B cells and they have specialized markers like CD15 and CD30. Now normally in the B cell you know that CD19, CD20, CD10 they are found but in case of reed sternberg cells additional markers like CD15 and CD30 they are found. Now what happens over there is that these reed sternberg cells they secrete reactive cytokines okay. So they will produce various cytokines which are the chemical mediators and the signals and as a result of these cytokines they will attract a large number of other cells like the lymphocytes, the plasma cells, the macrophages. So as a result of the reactive proliferation of the lymphocyte, the plasma cell and the macrophages a lymphoma or a mass of lymphoid tissue will be formed. But please note that in case of Hodgkin's lymphoma the predominant cell they are the lymphocyte, plasma cell and the macrophages but they are being attracted as a result of the cytokines which are being produced by the reed sternberg cells. Therefore the neoplastic cells are the reed sternberg cells but the bulk of lymphoma is formed by these foreign cells that is lymphocyte, plasma cells and macrophages and also it is the reed sternberg cells which characterize the Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now if we talk about the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in case of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, the reed sternberg cells they are absent and the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is predominantly formed as a result of the proliferation of either the B cells or the T cells. As you know that the lymphocytes they are of two types that is the B lymphocyte and the T lymphocyte. But in approximately 90 to 95 percent of the lymphomas, it is the B cells the proliferation of which is causing the lymphoma. Therefore, in our discussion, the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma which we will be discussing are basically the B-cell lymphomas. Now, there is a way of classifying the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma depending upon what is the size of those B-cells that are forming the lymphoma. So, therefore, on this basis, the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, they are classified as small B cell lymphoma, intermediate sized B cell lymphoma and large B cell lymphomas and all these are the types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. 
so if we talk about the small b cell lymphoma the small b cell lymphoma contains or its examples are the follicular lymphoma the mental cell lymphoma and the marginal lymphoma or the marginal zone lymphoma so we have the follicular lymphoma the mental cell lymphoma and the marginal zone lymphoma i will make separate videos on what are the follicular lymphoma what are the mental cell lymphoma and what are the marginal cell lymphoma so you have not to worry about those subtypes in the intermediate b cell lymphoma we have the burkitt's lymphoma so its example is burkitt's lymphoma again i'll make a video on what is the burkitt's lymphoma and in the large b cell lymphoma we have what is called as the diffuse large b cell lymphoma so diffuse large b cell lymphoma so these were the various subtypes of lymphomas and i hope that you are clear with what are the hodgkins lymphoma what are the reed sternberg cells what are the non hodgkins lymphoma and what are the various subtypes of non hodgkins lymphoma and please remember that the non hodgkins lymphoma 95% of the cases they are composed of only b cells a very rare type of non hodgkins lymphoma they have the t cell proliferation so i hope you like this video for more videos like this do subscribe to our youtube channel